it's a bit unusual for a member of the public to be in the police car park and where our, our personal vehicles are. Yeah. So there we go guys, we're actually on a live stream right now with the main man himself, Live Free. We just heard his voice. I'm going to end the live stream and I'll carry on the video. Say hello Chris to everybody. Big up DJ audits all day long. Respect bro. There you go, you've heard him say DJ audit as well. So yeah, we was actually on a live stream with um, a different auditor just then. And Live Free joined. So I just showed him that uh, where I am right now because... As you know, he's not able to do it at the minute himself. So that was really nice to hear his voice and to, to hear him say DJ audits. Wow. So yeah, we just uh, started off at the gate here, but we'll have a little look round. It's very, very well secure around this side. So let's get into it. So the sign outside says South Divisional Headquarters and it's located on Prime Parkway in Derby. On Google it calls itself St Mary's Wharf Inquiry Office. So it's quite a big one. It would be with it being a headquarters. So we'll go in and have a look. And as you can see on the main gate, there is no sign saying restricted access or no pedestrian, no public access or anything like that. Just an open gate. So we've certainly got the implied right of access. So in we go. Looks like a, a staff entrance there. So that's certainly not for the public. Looks like the public um, entrance is just down that way. They're certainly well aware of the image. I love the trees, how they've tried to sculpt, sculpture the trees into the, the round shapes. We saw that before at um, Triumph Motorcycles where they, they make the trees look <laughs> like balls. Car park is absolutely rammed. So I bet if I had a little wander around there I could certainly find some uh, illegal number plates very, very easily. But we might come back to that. And here we are right at the end of the public footpath. That starts up there and leads all the way down here. And you've got a solid gate again. The lovely solid gates, but it's certainly the way forward. But it looks like the wall is actually coming away. Look at that. It's coming away so much that they've tried to fill it with this stuff here, this silicon, but you can actually see through it. You can see daylight through the wall. I bet that will, uh, that won't be very safe. So according to Google, this place is open from nine until six, which is confirmed by that sign there. Nine until six, nine until five Saturday. Google says 10 till four and 10 till two on Sunday. And Google says 10 till two. So the only change that we actually need to make is to Saturday. So let's find out if it's nine till five or 10 till 4 on Saturday. Ten till four. So while we wait for somebody to appear, we'll have a quick look at the toilet, which seems to be locked. Nice to see that they've got a, a bin there. And the second toilet is also locked. Plenty of chairs. <laughs> as you would expect as a bare minimum. So yeah, really secure in the main public lobby. Nothing wrong with that at all. No filming or recording is permitted in this area without permission. We shall see about that, won't we? Opened by Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, 13th of March, 
Must be too busy. Must be too busy. So we waited inside, we pressed the buzzer. I don't know if they've got CCTV or anything in there and they didn't want to come out because I was filming, but they obviously don't want to just help me confirm the opening hours like I wanted to, nice and easily. So I'm just going to check the car registrations just to see if there's any illegal number plates and see if that uh, prompts them to come out at all, just so I can check those opening hours. So let's have a little wander around, see what we can find. And there's the first one of the day. K80 HXX. The space after the H should not be there. And you'll notice that this one does not have a British standard number and it does not have the manufacturer on the plate. So that vehicle, unfortunately, is displaying an illegal number plate. And it's the same on the front. K80 H space H X X and I'll just run it through the checker to see how it should look and to see whether it's got tax and MOT so yeah it's taxed until November and MOT until November but the number plate is illegal unfortunately right what else have we got <laughs> And here we are, we have the second illegal number plate of the day, R80MNS. And as you can see, there is no manufacturer. It just says Mac Roman, so that must be something to do with the, uh, the name, M and the R. There's no British standard number. So we'll run that one through the, the website to see if it's got tax and MOT. So there you go, as shown there, it's taxed until March and the MOT is also until March. But as he drives around and randomly gets stopped for his number plate, the question is, will he get off with it? Or will he have to change it? Bearing his uh, job in mind. Because one is assuming that all these vehicles here are for staff that work in there. And that would be a logical assumption, I would have thought. So we've only found two so far. And considering there's, uh, I would say, 200 cars in the car park, to just find two, 1%. But I'm very surprised that nobody's uh, wondered what a stranger's doing, wandering around the car park. I'm very surprised that no one's come out. It's just to say, can I help? But there's still time yet. So right next to the police uh, headquarters, there's this big grass bank that I'm standing on now. And it gives you a little view into the backyard. You can see a couple of vehicles in there. There's actually a vehicle moving right now. I don't know whether this one's used for the exit at all. I wouldn't have thought so. I would have thought it'd be that other gate that we saw around the corner. But yeah, it gives you uh, a full picture of how many cars that we've just checked. And we only found two that are non-compliant. Well, it looks like the gate is going to open for us. I don't think this will be um, an emergency gate though. It just seems the long way around, you know, all the way down there. 
but at least we get a good shot in. Still Peugeots again. Loads and loads of Peugeots. But she's waiting for the gate to close, that's good to see. Following the procedures. Such a slow gate though, imagine if it was an emergency. How much time that would be wasted just by waiting for the gate. And off she goes. Hi mate. Hiya. How you doing? Yeah, I'm alright mate, I'm alright. Excellent news. You've just been testing your speed tuners to see what's, what's been going on and what you're doing and what you're filming. Yeah, yeah, that's reasonable. I'm just here simply to make a video okay. about anything that I notice odd about the headquarters. Whatever I notice, I'll put in the video and publish it for people's entertainment, really. Okay, what do you mean by the word odd? Odd. Um, things not being done correctly. Like, um, not informing a member of the public that your body-worn video camera is recording. That's one thing that's odd. Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording, yeah. So, that's, that, they're the things that I'm looking for, do you know? Okay. So, did you know that you're supposed to? My question was first. I will answer yours. I don't have to, of course, but... Yeah, but is it within your policy to inform us? It, what's, what's Come the, on. Obviously, there's no offence to permit it here, there's no offence to permit it here. Yeah, yeah. But you've just been asked to see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, if you are interfering with any of the vehicles or anything like that, obviously, you need to speak to you about that. Could I take your collar number, please? Yeah. 14728 and as it stands you don't think that you need to inform me that you're recording is that correct okay okay what about yourself hello sir my name's pc 15021 hope my body warm camera is on i like it how are you i'm very good thank very you very good now then would you like to know what else i found odd or not can i just uh, oh yeah okay just uh, see this we're getting on very well yeah um there's just some concern mate that's all yeah I, I'm, uh, not say, I'm not saying you're doing anything illegal but i will politely Ask if you play, please leave. If you go on the other side, carry on filming, do as you please. I've got no issues with that. Yep. But obviously, as you can appreciate, lots of members of staff, some colleagues, cars are within this car park. It's a bit unusual. I know you said it's unusual for us not to say about body worn yep. cameras. It's a bit unusual for a member of the public to be in the police car park and where our, our personal vehicles are. Yep. So, please, may I politely ask you just to go and stand out over there, carry on filming, do as you please. As you know, you're allowed to do that. Please just do it over there, I'll be spot on. Mate. Yep, and I've heard what you've said. Thank now, a part of that, part of the reason I am here today is regarding the personal vehicles, right? So I have to do my lawful activity by walking around this area. Would you like me to explain more? I just, I'm, I'm a bit concerned yeah. as yeah. to why our, our vehicles Yeah, are okay, okay. Yeah, so that's thank that's you for asking. Um, I've took a couple of photos of the vehicles in concern. Um, the first one would be that one there, R80 MNS. On his number plate on the vehicle, he's got an illegal number plate. The spacing is in the wrong place. And it doesn't have the British standard, and it doesn't have the manufacturer written on the plate. So if you wish to take that as a complaint, that'd be great. If not, I'll go in the front office and do it. If you'd like to go in the front office, like that's, the that's now, absolutely the, fine. The second vehicle is that one, K80 HXX. It also has an illegal number plate. So I have to I have to walk around your cars to find it because it, if we had that on our vehicle, it wouldn't be acceptable. So it's just, we have to play by the same rules, agreed? Agreed. Yeah, agreed. now then, also one of the reasons why I'm here is that on Google, the opening hours for the members of the public show that on Saturday, I wanted to check whether that's correct, because I believe that to be incorrect. 
Um, would you be able to enlighten me? Because when I went into the reception and pressed the buzzer, nobody came and I waited there for five minutes. So I've, I've moved on to the car park and I was going to go back to the reception just to cover that aspect. Um, could you clarify what opening hours are Saturday here? I, I don't work here on a Saturday, I'm afraid. So I what about yourself? I can't I tell you. Okay, because I think it's uh, actually nine until five and not ten until four. Or, uh, the fear that Google have got it wrong there, Yeah, it, sir? but do you know this button here where it says suggest an edit? Mm. When I press that and update it, it helps the local community. Fantastic. When you've got Google Maps and you, you use that to direct yourself here, you want to be coming here when it's open really, don't you? So my purpose is just to find odd things like that. I mean, I'm going to help the community. Yeah. I'm going to make sure the police personal vehicles are compliant as we have to. Yeah, of course. And I'll always stay within the law. Now you have asked, asked me to leave. If I didn't, I'd be a trespasser. Correct. So I would just like to lodge the complaint about the registrations, sure. confirm the hours. Yep. Hopefully my next visit into the reception when I press the black buzzer, someone turns up. Yep. Um, but my purpose is to make a video and I noticed while I was in there the sign saying no video um, it's our policy no recording permitted yeah. so I'm in two minds um, whether to just do it by <coughs> online reporting now okay so I'll tell you what might make your life a bit easier if I escort you to the front counter and I'll get a, a member of staff to see you how's about that that'll be brilliant that'll be brilliant yeah that will, that will uh, tick all the boxes Do you know um, any rules about uh, taking the drone over this police station? I'm not, I'm by nowhere, anywhere near a, uh, a drone expert, no. sir, so I can't comment on that. Yeah, because it's, it, without having any experience of um, drone legislation, you're not going to be able to know, are you? No. But I've got a drone in my bag, guys. I'm intending to take it over to take a good shot to add to my video. Uh, if you've got any, any concerns about that, do let me know within the next 10 minutes because it will take me 10 minutes to set it up yep. um, I'm going to check the geo fence before I take off to make sure I'm not in a flight res restricted zone I'll just wait out there for you while you get the information yeah. alright well, I'm, I'm going to be recording all the time yeah, come in there. oh ok I got it. it's just there look that black one What's your name, sir? I'm not legally obliged to give it no, because not, not. anybody so that... It's just a polite request yeah, so we yeah, can inform yeah. the person that's going to be speaking to you. Yeah, no problem. I won't find a member of staff. You just wait till my phone. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, no, we're real. We're real. Hi, sir. Just a quick one. Um, on Google, it says 10 till 4. Sorry, 10 and... Yeah, 10 till 4. Uh, for Saturday, sorry, for Saturday opening hours. Yeah. Could you confirm whether that's correct or incorrect? Well, outside, what does it say, sir? It says nine until five. Well, as far as I'm aware, it's nine till five. I can, I can establish that for you if you like. Yes, please. Just confirm that before I make the change. The rest are correct. Most of there, um, we find that they're all incorrect. Okay. So this one's doing quite well. But then, as I said, we've never, we've never had to check because obviously we work here, so yeah, yeah, we just yeah. come to our, our working hours. So. I would estimate in this car park there's about 200 cars, right? Okay. Would, would you agree, 200 roughly? <coughs> I've not counted them, so yeah. I wouldn't like, like to have them again. But, okay, and then just two, two cars that are non-compliant, yeah. that's 1%, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not a bad failure rate, in, to bad. be honest, because we, we do this quite a lot. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> do you know once... Uh, my colleagues checked. I'll be out. I'll be out to take do the drone. Do you mind just going to the other side of the, the barriers and then I'll come out once I've got that information yeah. about the drone stuff and if you just stay on the other side, mate, that'd be, that'd be bob on. That's fair. You'd be very reasonable yeah. right, and I yeah. appreciate yeah. your time. Yeah. Are you both um, PCs? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Plain clothes today? Yeah. Just, just got some sort of um, operation going on which requires... No, no, no we, we, just, no, we just work on... A, we're playing clothes every day. Every day? Yeah. Oh, because of the, the unit you're assigned to? Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. So you, you can't actually, um, does somebody choose you because you've, you've performed well to be in that unit? Or do you get to say, I'd like to be in that unit? It's the same with any job, sir. It's a, an, an application oh, process. And all you guys wait oh, right, okay. Yeah, we're just waiting. It's, you go to the red line and press the black button, mate, just around that side. Have you... Um, I know you told me your number earlier. Yeah. Do you want to see my warrant? Uh, well, not really. Just, just, re just repeat it. 
Thank you. Nine till nine till five. Okay. I'll, I'll make the change for the local community. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Job done. All we'll do is then you just wait on the other side of the fence for me. I'll go and check that yeah. uh, with the drone expert and uh, I'll let yeah. You know. um, as I say, it will take me about five ten minutes to to take it off. Uh, I, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Before you do that, if you just wait for me to give you an answer, just so we know that we're all square and all, yeah, all but level. I, I, I was only politely asking whether you knew of any objection. Yeah. I, I know I'm allowed to do it. Okay. So, and like I said to you, I'm, I'm no drone. Expert, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not going to take your word for it. But no, you don't have I'll, to. I'll, Obviously, I'll, I'll just carry on. Um, I don't want to sort of give you a deadline to come back that, back to me because then I'll be waiting forever. I'll just do my lawful activity. Um, but I just politely let you know that's all. Obviously, you're not you're not um, educated enough to know that I shouldn't. Sure. So I, that's, that's no that's yeah. no dig, all right. No, I'm just going to carry on doing my lawful thank activity. You. Appreciate your time. Thank yeah, you. thank you. So there they go. They're off inside. Um, I'm going to take the drone up to get a good shot to, around this building because there's a lot that you can't see around the concealed areas. We'll make the change on Google for the opening hours and we'll report those number plates online. So let's get the drone out. So there we are outside the headquarters again. We've got the drone ready and we have checked the geo fence as shown just there. Where the blue pin is, that's where we are right now. And that screen there shows you the nearest flight restri restriction zone, which is a long way away. So we've got no problem at all flying over here lawfully. Let's go. So just before we take off, we noticed that the PCs are on the way back. So let's see what they've found out. Hello, sir. Hiya. How are you? I've sought, I've sought some advice for you. Uh, first question, how much does the drone weigh? 249 grams. Fantastic. Therefore, you're allowed to lift it. Um, if you're, I've been advised if you're doing this for sort of like any promotional things, so like you're getting like advertising hits or so many hits on like, um, a YouTube hit or per se um, and for example you get some finance reward out of it then you may need business insurance that's just to advise you sir but yep. I wish you a pleasant day oh thank you and, and good luck with everything you're doing you know what right that is so refreshing that is so refreshing the last two times I've had this out it's been a very bad experience for myself okay. but do you know what you said Yep. It's spot on. You've missed one thing. I'll just let you know in the future. Okay. By law, see that operator ID yep. on the drone? Yeah. I'll just show the viewers. You have to make sure that the operator ID is written on. Don't have to be a sticker, but it has to be present. Yep. That will link you to the person responsible for the drone okay. in case it's used for dropping contraband into a prison, etc. But yeah, you're spot on with the insurance. Hey, I, I, you've you've taught me something, hey, you've taught there, me something as well. I yeah. appreciate that. Have, have a lovely day. Yeah, okay. thank you. Thank, thank you. Yes, yeah, Take care. Well. So how refreshing was that? So I'm very surprised. Big up to the PCs there. Let's get back into the drone flying.
so there we go we've come to the end of the drone flight and I'll show you it landing this time this is what it looks like when it lands and that's how smooth it is amazing pieces of kit these are so there we have it south divisional headquarters derbyshire constabulary we went into the reception just to try and update those well confirm those opening hours and nobody was there so we decided to go for a little wander around the car park and we found those two illegal number plates we then found a nice vantage point to see all the way in the guys came out spoke to us asked us to leave we said um, we're actually here doing something at the minute but once we've finished doing that we should certainly leave because uh, our work will be done we went into the reception he wasn't really comfortable with the camera i noticed that he kept on looking at it and he didn't know why i was being escorted etc thought it was a bit weird so i didn't bother going into the number plate issue inside there i'll do that online i'll actually show you uh, how to do it online right now and then we ended it off with the drone flight and as well as seeing the hole inside of this place which they had to check that was okay to do <laughs> we saw um, a police car leaving and we can see like how a helicopter follows a police car <laughs> quite awesome not done that before i was in one position and just moving the camera around I had the free time zoom on whilst i was doing that um yeah not the best quality but it's awesome how you can follow the car like that so yeah that's it from derbyshire south divisional headquarters hope you've enjoyed it if you have give me a thumbs up it all helps with the algorithm and i'll see you on the next one guys bye bye for now